Welcome to SOCH 499, the Senior Capstone, and congratulations on your success thus far. All of you by now have extensive experience with our course management system, Blackboard, and the basic structure of the Sociology Program courses. So this short video will indeed be short and simple, an overview of the site and of the Digication Capstone ePortfolio project. Begin by opening your course syllabus on the Syllabus and Course Information link. You will quickly note that the course largely focuses on completing a capstone project. There are four basic assignments that you will complete on your ePortfolio. The Statement of Purpose, the Academic Portfolio, Reflections, and the Capstone Project. In Capstone Project Assignment, you will find detailed instructions and completion deadlines for various parts of the Capstone Project. Your instructor is dedicated to helping you succeed and should be an invaluable resource in walking through the steps of the capstone with you. There is also in the folder a copy of the rubric that will be used to grade your capstone project. As you read the rubric, please note again that the capstone counts as 90% of your grade it's best to do the other assignments, even if you receive a grade on the, a C grade on these, but their weighting in that case would not be sufficient to pull your grade below a 97% or an A grade. In Capstone Resources, you will find a number of useful resources for human subjects research, plus information on CUNY plagiarism and collaboration policies. As you scroll down inside the folder, you will find a number of items that will be helpful references for citing images, research compliance, ASA style guide. In data sources and tools, you will find a number of different data resources and sources. Perhaps the most frequently used and useful resource is the GSS SDA, the General Social Survey, Survey Document and Analysis, but there are also others. If you have not used this tool, there are vodcasts that will walk you through the steps. Basically, the database is identical to the database you used in SOCH 302, but the SDA provides a tool that permits data analysis without SPSS. There are other data banks and tools that permit data analysis without a separate program. While you have used standard features, such as the discussions, you are in, if you are in a section with one student, you should follow the directions of your instructor. The weekly assignments folder, likewise, is constructed like most of your courses with assignments and deadlines in each folder. The capstone project is the centerpiece of the course. You will create yours by using the template, but you may also wish to view the ePortfolios and projects that have been created by other students. Angela Isaac, for example, provides a great model for the academic ePortfolio, but take some time to browse through the CUNY ePortfolio resources and showcase you will find in there lots and lots of examples of truly exceptional student ePortfolio work. Once again, all of us are very proud and excited to see you reach this milestone, and we wish you the very best in the completion of your capstone. And we look forward to seeing you at graduation.